Hi everyone, it's me Lisa and I am here today to share some gifts I got <laughs> yesterday or Saturday from my friend Teresa Williams. Um, I met Teresa here on YouTube. She was my first giveaway winner for 100 subscribers and I've gotten to know her and we live three hours apart. And this is the second time on Saturday that we met halfway and spent the day together. And we had we sat down and had a two-hour lunch. We just had the nicest time. We went shopping. And we exchanged some <laughs> Christmas gifts. But Teresa wasn't kidding when she said, this bag you have to lift from the bottom. <laughs> it's huge. It's so heavy. So... This morning, she she was kind of coaxing me into looking in the bag and, and digging through. And I said, no, I really want to wait until I have time to make a video. So I started and I saw two or three things. And I said, that's it. I have to I have to go stop what I'm doing and make a video. So I wanted to share these things with you. So I did peek in enough to see this bag of pumpkin, um, pumpkin patch potpourri. And I love this. It smells so good and I love the pine cones and the oranges it just I love it all thank you so much Teresa and I don't I'll have this out year-round I don't mmm cinnamon sticks I don't discriminate and only put it out in the fall <laughs> I love pumpkin stuff all the time so thank you and the only I saw two other things this I saw this beautiful binder that I can decorate and I love making these little binders into journals and it has like the clear plastic pages in it and then it has stickers and it has these kind of pockets in it goals for the year um, more of those clear pockets some paper pads some file uh, not file folders um dividers and on the back look at this pocket here back here I, I just I love this so much and then more of the clear divider or clear page holder things I love it Teresa thank you so much this is by noteworthy it says noteworthy junior album I, I love it I can't wait to use it thank you and then the last thing that I'd already seen, she showed me. She, she pulled this out of the bag when I got there and said, I just want to show you one thing. Okay, Teresa. <laughs> so in this beautiful little box, there are ornaments that she handmade. Okay. I'm taking each one of these out, baby. All right. Look at this. There is this one. No, Hazel, you are not going out now. You picked the wrong time to come to the door, girl. There's this one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. Oh, I'm dropping things and I don't want to be doing that. There's this one. Some of them came off their little gold hooks to put on the tree but I can fix that fast enough. There's this one. Look how pretty that is. Mm, I've got two of them tangled up and you know I'm not that good at that. <laughs> There's this one. I'm not even showing it on camera. The red one. Look at how pretty that is. I need to know where she got these little hooks. Like this one that she has at the top. I would love to know where she got those. Look how pretty this one is. They, I mean, they're all gorgeous. I can't say one is prettier than the other because it's not. They're all beautiful. Look at that. This maybe has to be my favorite because it's my colors and she put an owl on there for me. How cute is that? She said they're made these decorations for me. Uh, unbelievable. 
I have to make her some things because I've been giving her store stock, store bought stuff. Look at this purples. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. And I have, I was telling her, I have a, a two foot foot tree up on my um, dining table, and these would be just the right size for that. There's this one. Beautiful colors. I don't know how you picked all these color combinations. They're gorgeous. This one. And this one. Look at that. Beautiful. Teresa, you're so talented. And I've said this before when she made me tags and cards and things that she needs to have her own channel. Now, join me people in the comments below. Once again, if you don't think Teresa, if you think Teresa is talented enough to have her own YouTube channel, please tell her that. I've been telling her that. She says she really wants to and she's going to try to do it after New Year. Um, and I just want to encourage her and support her as much as I can to get her to get her to do that. She she's such a warm, loving person and she's so funny. She has the best personality for YouTube. She really does. She needs to get on here. So, What's next? Okay, I didn't open anything else, and I'm sorry once again to keep bending down, but I can't, I can't uh, put this bag on my lap. It's enormous. It's huge. It's very heavy. Oh, look at this. This is a little bag filled with goodies, and I just pulled it out. Oh, look at this little dog rhinestone. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. <gasps> Oh, I wanted some of these. I was looking at these at um, Hobby Lobby with her. No wonder she said, put that back. <laughs> she cracks me up. Oh, look at those little tiny spools. I wanted some similar ones, and I was telling her all the things they'd be good for, and I had one in my hand that was a little bit bigger than these, and she said, put that back. <laughs> She's hilarious. Okay, some Recollections Puffy Stickers, 3D Stickers. Oh, Woodland Animals. I love Woodland Animals so much. Do I have a piece of white cardstock? Yes, I do. Aren't they adorable? The bears and owls, squirrel, deer. So cute. buy out the sticker section and Michael's look at these jungle animals oh my gosh I love them Teresa they're so cute thank you so much and not to be outdone by these llamas either look at these llamas oh they are so cute Oh, I love them. And Jolie's Boutique makes such this, such nice st sticker sets. Um, oh, look at this. <gasps> Turtles. Turtles are my favorite critters. Them and dogs and sloths. Okay, I'll stop there. <laughs> I love those. Oh, these are nice. These are faith stickers. Christ is risen. John 3, 16. God so loved the world. Look at these. These are beautiful stickers from my inspirational journal pages. I'll definitely use those. Thank you so much. And I think the last thing out of that little bag is these are more stickers wildlife stickers oh my gosh if they aren't the cutest there's a little beaver a bear a fox look at these guys they are so cute adorable look at this little seal oh my gosh look at the little seal adorable oh, thank you so much Teresa. gosh girl pull these paper pads out because I can see that's what they are. Oh, wow. I love alphas and I don't have anything like these colors at all. I don't have a thing like that. 
and there's a lot of stickers in here, 10 sheets. Thank you so much, Teresa. I use these all the time in my journals and in mixed media all the time. Oh, she was asking me if I had certain um, Michael's Christmas paper pads. And when I told her which ones I, which ones I have, she said, oh, good. because So she had apparently got some and she was hoping I didn't already have them. And this is the first one and I definitely do not have it. It's called Say Freeze. Look how cute this is. Let's see if I can do a little flip through. Look at how, oh, look at the red truck. Look at the gifts. Oh, I love this paper pad, Teresa. Look at the sentiments. Snowflakes, tags. Oh, snowmen. I don't have anything like this. Poinsettia. Oh, look at the snowman. Mm. I adore snowman. Holly. Plaids. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa. I've never, not only do I not have this, look at the mugs. Coffee, um, hot cocoa mugs. Not only do I not have this, I've never seen it at, hot, um, at Michael's where you pick this up. I've never seen it. So, Recollections Hot Buy, and I love those. I only picked up one this year, and I had one from last year, and that's the only Michael's Christmas ones that I have, and they are not these two. This one she picked was Red and White Christmas. I love this. Just, just from the title, Red and White Christmas, I love it. Um, red and white colors, or I love them. Look at those snowflakes. Oh, look at the little village. Cut apart. Oh, I love the red and white combos. So pretty. Candy cane stripes. Look at the little ornaments. So pretty. Um, oh, she knows how crazy I am about anything with little houses. These little houses have snow on them. I'm such a homebody. Oh, I love these birds. Doves, they're so pretty. Mittens, yay. I will love die cutting in my machine with these trees. Oh, look at the deer. So yeah, I will love die cutting with these and playing with these in my Christmas books, Teresa. Thank you so much. Let's see. What else is in here? Oh, <laughs> we were at Dollar Tree and she goes, do you have this? This, she points out this, you know, uh, window cling. And I said, no, I don't have that. And she goes, yes, you do. And I said, no, I don't have that. Yes, you do. And then I got it. I said, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I have it now. <laughs> so that was in my bag. Thank you. I love the sloth. Look, let me pay a little more attention to it. Got a unicorn, a llama, a sloth. Looks like a shark and a dinosaur. How cute are they? I love those. And sometimes I use the window clings for, for window clings. And sometimes I peel them and use them in my um, art journals. You can just put a little clear glue on the back of those and glue them down. Oh. On the side here is a stack of goodies. Make sure I got it. I got it. Oh. Look at these Christmas stickers. I love these. Look at that Santa, that fat Santa. That is so cute. It's got nice sentiments on it. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It was the night before Christmas. Dear Santa, ho, 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 joy. I love these, Teresa. I don't know where, you, oh, they're recollections, so you probably got them at Michael's. Thank you so much. And then there's a baggie of goodies that she shared, her craft stuff she shared with me. And we do, we've been doing this. I've been taking her stuff that I have a lot of um, and vice versa. <laughs> I took her a little baggie like this 
and it was filled with the little glue bottles. Sorry, Sean got up and the dogs are barking at him. Um, it was filled with the little plastic glue bottles and a couple of the little spray bottles and a couple of eyedropper bottles. And um, she said her husband cracked up when she <laughs> he pulled that little bag out of her bag, asked her what she was doing with paraphernalia. Oh my gosh, it did look that way now that I think about it. I just put it in her Christmas bag like that in a baggie. Oh, we had so much fun. I love you, Teresa. Um, gosh, you know, I've met so many sweet people on here. And unfortunately, a lot of them live too far away for me to visit, or at least not very often. And I'm just so grateful that, Teresa, you're only you know, three hours away and we meet, that's 90 minutes apiece. It's not bad at all. I would come all the way to your house. It would be no problem. Um, it's great that I have someone in this region that I can, you know, share life with. It's just, you know, the good, bad, the ugly, all of it, the crafts. <laughs> and boy, can we share some crafts. She probably has more crafts than I do from the sound of it, but I've never been there, so I can't say. So black doilies, and guess what, Teresa? I don't have any black ones. I have all colors, but I do not have black. Thank you very much. I will use these for sure. Oh, got all misty about oh, my day with her because, you know, it just meant a lot. It just meant a lot, especially right now with um, just passing the 60th anniversary of my daughter's death on December the 4th. And um, this being such a difficult season without her and uh, without my mother who passed when I was 19 and I'm 60 and it still hurts every day. Um, but it just meant so much to me. This, this, these two times I've met with Teresa and we had so much fun shopping and, you know, dealt with our little crises. She couldn't find her keys and I couldn't find my mask. <laughs> one time and you know we've just we've just laugh and and just acknowledge life together and that's so meaningful for me it really is so thank you Teresa for your friendship it means the world to me so I'm gonna pull my shit together here excuse me and um in this baggie are all kinds of little things oh I love photography so much I still have my photography camera Pentax K1000 from high school where you develop your own film um, it takes color and black and white I still have that and I still sometimes will take a roll of it and take it to the drugstore to, to be developed because obviously I don't have a dark room here um, so I love anything to do with photography I just love that where flowers bloom so does hope these little journaling cards mean so much to me when you people share these with me honest to goodness you probably think oh I'm just sending you know one person said I'm just sending you some sharing some little things uh, it, it, you know it, I love them I use them all in my journals look at this sloth slow your roll <laughs> oh my gosh Teresa this beautiful card I love orange and yellows and things mixed together oh look at this little valentine one I love, I adore hedgehogs. Kiss me. This is going to be a long video because I'm showing it all. A journaling card. Oh, I love things with old time typewriters on them. Hello, darling. Local honey with a beehive. How cute is that? I've got one of those deer with flowers on the antlers. I love that. I've seen photos of that, pictures of that, like in Tuesday morning in Marshalls and I want to buy it and hang it in my bedroom but I haven't done it um dream I love the yellow black background and just a note oh these are so cute and there's more wait there's more there's oh where did you find all these little it says David Walker on the back these little stickers penguins and it says winter Girl power. <laughs> I love that. Then there are these like uh, gift tag type ones with a Christmas tree on it. Or 
ones like this, and you can alter these. We both do, she and I both do. We were talking about that, how we buy all these things and alter them, and we bought, buy, both buy gift wrap and cut out the pictures on the gift wrap. Look at this little penguin card. Oh my gosh, tell me that's not going in my Christmas book. It absolutely is. Cheers and joy. Look at this margarita. <laughs> cracks me up oh lord oh i love pansies i, I usually always pant, plant pansies in the spring I'll say that three times plant pansies look at this this gorgeous card wild heart eat drink and be merry oh look at this little porcupine oh he's adorable Oh, no. -uh. Slow and steady wins the race. Look at the turtle. Look at the turtle. You wouldn't believe the turtles all over my house. Pictures, knickknacks. Oh, little bunny bunny. I'll use that for Julie's book. Seashell. Some tags. Or that's actually a little card. You, open, you can open it up. Did you make this, Teresa? Yes, she did. She did make this. I can tell. Some starfish, bird. Oh, look at this doghouse. Sleep. Oh, another dog tag. There are hundreds of little lemons like this. And like this. If you know me, you know I love all things lemon. Um, crazy about them. And there's ice cream in here. There's sentiments in here. Look at this beautiful purple heart. There's a ton of things in here, people. Let me see what this last one in the back is. Oh, look at this Bonnie one. I saved this for Julie's book. And look at this little drink. How cute is that? That'll go on my summer album. Thank you so much, Teresa. Goodness gracious. I love all these. I, I'm going to have to take a minute after the video and put them all back in the baggie so I don't lose any. And what else? I pulled out something else at that same moment. Oh, yes, I did. I pulled out. This is like she's got it like a little folder, the penguins. And she has it folded over and included all these different papers in it. Oh, this is uh, a little penguin book. Are you kidding me? I love this. I love penguins and I have a small um, ceramic pen penguin collection and penguins in a snow globe. And I'm definitely going to use this to put some Christmas things in. I love that. And it's not real big, so you don't have to feel overwhelmed. You can just do a few pages at holiday time. I love that. No way. Where did she get these? I'm learning to fly. These must... Oh, these are all Jane Davenport papers. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. Teresa, I didn't even know you had these. Thank you for sharing these with me. I love Jane Davenport things. When we were shopping, we found some little Jane Davenport pastels in the clearance section. You know, the little single tube ones I'll show in my haul video. And she didn't want them. And they were they're normally $7.99 and they were for $1.99. There were three of them, three different colors. I, I snatched those babies up. So there's owls. Can't see what's behind there. Oh, flamingos poinsettias oh look at this holiday paper holiday wishes look at those deer peace love and fun all that oh i'll definitely use that for my daughter's book and look at the peace signs thank you teresa i love that love 
just all kinds of papers in here. I mean, all kinds of papers in here she shared with me. Look at this beautiful floral. I love anything florals. Just, it goes on and on, people. Look at this. Pinks, purples. Now, this is my color scheme. Look at that. Woohoo! Teresa, you must have been, like, since the last time we met, you must have been, oh, I love paisleys. Look at paisley. You must have been, like, going through your stuff since last we met. And I already have some stuff set aside for you for our January visit. We're, we're trying to meet once a month. Um, I mean, I would love to do more than that, but I don't want to put a strain on her, you know, gas-wise and time-wise and all. So we're going we're gonna to try for that. Um, so there's inside here. <laughs> Is this adorable snowman ornament she made? And I can feel that inside here are those popsicle sticks or tongue depressors. I can feel that inside the arms. I don't know the rest of it, how she made it, but I'm going to find out. How cute is that? It's adorable. Thank you so much. Okay, there's a bag within the bag, and this says nice, top of the nice list. How cute is that? Mm. Teresa, you're too kind. Oh. These are Yankee candle things. I told her I love like the berry scents and the cinnamons and apple and orange, citrus ones like watermelon and grapefruit, lemon. Um, she got me this for my car, cinnamon, sparkling cinnamon. It's hard to smell it through the wrapper, but I can smell it some. What's this? Lemon meringue cheer. Where did you find this? And when were you shopping without me? Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Bath and Body Works. Oh, I gotta just, I gotta just smell it. Oh, I want to eat that. It does smell just like lemon meringue pie. It really does. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Teresa. I love that. I'll have to be getting a refill thing for that. Oh, look at this Yankee candle topper. I have never seen anything like this, but it shows in the picture that you put it on top of your candle. And, you know, your wick comes through here. How neat of an idea is that? I've never seen that. Thank you, Teresa. I definitely will be putting that out every Christmas on my candles because I love that. That's really, I love the snowmen. And what else is in this bag? is a huge Yankee candle, berry trifle. Look at that. <sighs> mm, I used to go to Ocean City and I used to go to this place on uh, Coastal Highway called Rose's Department Store and they sold an awful lot of junk, souvenirs and chairs that break when you get up to the beach and th things like that. But they had these berry candles that I would buy every year when I went down there and I would stock up in my garage. And I don't have them anymore because I haven't been there a long time. This is better than they smelled. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I don't own any Yankee candles. Um, the obvious reason being they're expensive. So unless you have a coupon or you hit a good sale or you hit the outlet store, I mean, I just, I usually don't buy Yankee, I buy a cheaper brand, but this, oh my gosh, these smell so wonderful. Thank you so much, Teresa. Where's my soap? That's going at my kitchen counter, or maybe I don't want Sean to use that up. This is going to my bathroom. I have my own private little half bath. Uh, not a half, yeah, half bath. And then we have one full bath. We have a very small house, and that's it for bathrooms. So we have three sinks, two bathroom, one kitchen. Thank you so much. And then, wait, there's more. Okay. 
I got the other bag within a bag out. And look how precious this, she knows me so well. You know, we haven't known each other all that long, but she knows me so well. Um, she knows I love the red truck and she knows I love the campers. And look at this penguin in the camper, these penguins. Oh my gosh. And on the other side, it's the same thing. It just doesn't have the, the pop out card. I can cut these apart, cut these images out and use them. We were talking about how we do that. Cards, calendars, gift wrap, gift bags. You know, we cut the images off everything. We both found one book in the Dollar Tree that was, uh, had, I'll show it in my haul, has a lot of really nice images, mostly people, but I love putting those in my glue book. And um, we, we managed to find two of them. So we each got one for a buck and that was a steal, trust me. Light up necklace. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh, I can't wait to use that. Thank you, Teresa. That is adorable. So cute. I don't know if I'll put it on a craft item or if I'll wear it for a necklace. I'll probably wear it for a necklace all the way up through Christmas. I think I will. Oh, what is this? Where have you been without me? You, th this looks like a Tuesday morning item. Um, boxed Cards Mini Mint by American Crafts. Look at those adorable cards. Glasses, please. I think one of these, the one on the front. Oh, they have houses and look. Well, let me try to show you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the designs, but this one has like cook Christmas cookies. And then there's other ones in there that are so cute. I don't have anything like this. And you know what these blank cards are nice for too? I mean, obviously you can write in them and send them as Christmas cards, but um, I, <laughs> Teresa and I, we cut off the cover and use it in something. Um, but also these, since they're blank inside, these are nice to send for thank you cards for gifts that you get for Christmas. Thank you so much, Teresa. Ooh, here's a paper pad I don't have. Spellbinders Celebrate. Oh, it's a summer one. I was looking this past summer for summer paper pads in my price range. I couldn't really find very much at Tuesday morning this summer. Look at the mermaid scales. This is beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Looks swans and ducks. I love it. Thank you so much, Teresa. I love it. It's very summery. Oh, there's a mermaid page that I must have been in, skipped past by mistake. Here it is. Oh, I love these little mermaids. Look at how cute they are. That's adorable. Thank you, Teresa. Gosh, you're so thoughtful. You really are. <sighs> Where did you find a sunflower can when I wasn't looking? Hmm? You must have found this down by you. Because I've never seen anything like this before. I'm absolutely in love with it. Look, it's a sunflower tin. Oh my gosh. I think there's something in it. <gasps> there is. Oh, there are all these little Christmas shapes, donuts, tags, candy canes. Well, these are wreaths, not donuts, but could go either way. <laughs> Oh, I love these, Teresa. Thank you so, so much. Oh, look at these ones with the Christmas lights. I love these. Oh, thank you. That won't be getting put away with my Christmas things. This will be sitting on my shelf in my craft room right here. I love this. Sunflowers are my favorite flower. I used to grow the enormous ones in my backyard once upon a time. Oh, <laughs> Teresa, you are so funny. I love these. Oh, they're like, um, 
if you're familiar with uh, Children's Craft Company, Melissa and Doug, it's very similar to that. Lacing shapes. Look, you lace these shapes. And it's an elf and a Santa. And there's different clothes, I guess. Two characters, six outfits. Four laces. So you can change Santa's clothes <laughs> if you want to. Can you imagine how fun this would be to include in a craft project? You know, lace one up and, and glue it on your journal cover or create an ornament out of these. There are so many things I could do with this. Thank you, Teresa. I've never even seen these, okay? Never seen these. This is the kind of thing they would have had at my AC Moore up the street, um, just like, you know, two or three miles from me, but it closed down. As everybody knows, there's no more AC Moore. They went out of business. So this, but I, I used to see similar children's crafts at that store. Here's one that's polar bears. Yep, polar bears. Two characters, five outfits, four laces once again. Look at that. That is so cute. These will make darling ornaments. You embellish them. Oh, yes. And the last one is this. Oh, she got, oh, these are just adorable. These are police characters. I love them. My heart goes out to the blue. I am not in favor of defunding the police. I'll just stop right there. Oh, look at this little jar of sequins. They look like they're gold, a little bronzy color to the gold. Very cute. Thank you, Teresa. But wait, there's more. What is this? Lunchboxes Field Guide. These are the kind of little books I love. And I used to carry a lunchbox. And I, I have one over here that's Cracker Jack lunchbox on my shelf. You can see it behind me. Um, that I carried similar things as a little girl. <gasps> you know... These will make great cutouts for your journal, but I almost hate to cut them out of this little book. Look at this Flintstone thermos and lunchbox set. Now, see, that's the kind of thing they had when I was a little girl, 1964. Do you want to know how much that goes for? $675. I was born in 1960, so that is the kind of thing that was around when I was a little girl. I forget what I had on mine. I can't remember, but it'll probably hit me when I see it. But there are just, this is like a guide to all the lunch boxes that are out there. And I'll, and thermoses. And I'll have to look up my Cracker Jack one, see if they have it in here. Not that I'm worried about it being worth any money. I mean, I just like things like that. I showed everybody, I got some little uh, I Love Lucy lunch box recently at a thrift store. And um, the... Cracker Jack one was a gift to me from a friend. So, get down to the bottom of this batch. And is there anything else in the big bag? No, I got it all out. So, I don't know what these are. <gasps> she told me about, she gave me kind of a hint about this. But you, I had no idea, Teresa, these are absolutely, this one is absolutely adorable. This little dog. He's a sheriff. These are the Sizzik Bigs, Big Dies. The Bigs, they call them. I have one of these that I think is, um, a, I have a bird one. But other than that, I don't have these big, thick dies by Sizzix. Um, and if I see them at Tuesday morning, I'll grab them. That's where I got my bird one. But I haven't seen any of these in a long time. And she knows the love I have for dogs. Look at that. Thank you so much, Teresa. This one is. <laughs> Look at the clothes. I bet they fit on this dude. Yes, they do. They're the ones that go on this dude. How cute is that? Teresa, thank you so much. You are, are so sweet and thoughtful. And, you know, people would love you on YouTube the way I love you in person. Um, I hope you really will do that um, after the holidays are over. Would love to see you on YouTube, and I'll help you and support you any way I can. Um, 
I just had the most marvelous day with you, Teresa. I enjoyed myself so much, and it really did wonders for my mental health uh, to get out and see you and, and have a nice lunch and haven't done anything like that for a long time. And, you know, um, we were wearing masks everywhere we went and all that, but, you know, so what? I, I, I didn't care. I just was thrilled to have time with her, and I wish I had more of it. And... um I have some hauls to share of some things that I got with Teresa when I with, was with her, and um, I will share that in a separate video. I hope you all enjoyed looking through my gifts as much as I did. It was it was truly priceless, and um, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so. Thanks, everybody. Bye.